Hello everyone, so I just wanted to check in very quickly, start a new weekly vlog and I'm on my way to uh, to, the, to my hairdresser, it's a new one that I'm trying out and first I will just put in a little clip of me trying on some new summer fall shoes that I really really like and some other stuff and then I will bring you with me to the hairdresser and we'll do color and maybe we will also do a little bit of a cut so let's see, bye bye Hello everyone, I'm very sorry that I did not vlog a lot um, during the summertime but I was on holiday and there will be a Santorini vlog coming up because I've just been to Santorini that's why I'm quite tan and also this this is a little whoop band which I will keep you posted because I just got it four days ago and I love it it's just amazing and yes now I'm freshly back from holiday still sunny summertime outside it's summer fall and I thought why not show you a few of my favorite shoes that I'm so excited to wear this late summer and fall and that are on trend like that are very trendy because I researched high and low for the trends on the runway like more high because the runway is high more run more because I researched all of those trends and yeah I will show you what I found because I found some very nice shoes from Vivaya so thank you Vivaya for sponsoring this part of the video and yeah let me start first of all I got some mules some pointy toe pointed toe mules because I saw them all over the runway and I got them in this beautiful mustardy color because this mustard color is just everywhere, especially for fall, for those warm fall days. It looks stunning. So I will quickly show you how it looks on. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not with this, with this jacket, it's probably not that look. <laughs> okay, I would probably wouldn't wear it with this little cardigan so wait a moment this is how i would pair those mustard yellow mules it's just some white linen pants a nice chile it's just beautiful in my opinion but yeah that's not everything because i also got some other shoes so first of all the mule strand especially in this mustard color pointy toes but also during fall what i saw a lot is just pointed toe ballet flats, pointed toe shoes, and also in like very vibrant, folly summery colors. So I also got those stunning red Vivaya kind of ballet flat loafers. They are stunning because look at, look at this sexy cutout here. Wow. And also you have to know about Vivaya, which what I think is very, very impressive is that all of those, their shoes are made out of like plastic bottles. So it's actually a good thing. And most of their shoes you can just put in a washing machine. And also Vivaya shoes are like the most important, most important, the most comfortable shoes that I own. I'm sorry, this hair bothers me there. The most comfortable shoes that I own. And I also have some Vivaya shoes that I just use as my house shoes at home because they are just that comfortable so let me quickly show you the red ones again same outfit because i think this outfit just is a perfect outfit for fall summer yeah and look just this nice little pop of color with those red shoes it's just everything and then the last pair that i got from vivaya to like finish off my shoes for late summer for fall to have like all of the trends involved some bright pink shoes because you saw the barbie movie i mean it came out everything is pink and those pink loafer ballet flats they are perfect they are pointy they are feminine and they work with absolutely like every neutral outfit like i love to wear a neutral outfit like this one like black white only black only white maybe a nice cream color brown and then just put on some of those shoes to give me a little pop of color because it just brightens up the outfit makes it more special makes it look like you thought a lot more about your outfit than you actually did and yeah let me quickly show you the last pair of shoes and those are my pink barbie shoes 
I mean, how cool do they look with those, with this extremely simple outfit? I think they look awesome. Yeah, and also, now that I've shown you my new summer purchases, like my new summer full shoe purchases, I cannot not show you what I bought today because today I was just in town, my mother came to visit and we made a little shopping trip, a shopping and eating lunch trip and we popped into Zara home, not Zara home, H&M home and if you know me, I love my homeware and I really have to make a home tour now because I'm obsessed with home, like I am even more obsessed with home items than I am probably with clothes now. Probably the same, but about the same. So yeah, H&M home. It's dangerous that I have an H&M home, which is like five minutes away from my house, but it's also lovely because I have so many nice pieces. So now let me show you what I got. And just a little proof. I got two bags, two full bags, which were very heavy to, to, to um, bring home, even though I only live five minutes away. So let me show you what I got in H&M home. First of all, I got, wait a moment. I got two pieces of this homeware thing, like of this dinner plate setting, like two napkins. They are lovely, they are this nice stony mauve color. And then I got two of those pasta plates. And they say, delicious, buen appetito, 8 p.m. prego, which that means it's very delicious. Um, have a good meal. Thank you. Um, no, no, thank you. You're welcome at 8 p.m. So those two pasta plates. And to go with it, I got two of the normal dinner plates like that. And they are in the brown. You see the brown trim? You also have it in a black trim and also in a green trim. But I think the brown trim just looks... For me, it looks, looks the best and yeah, it looks like a little bit more, a little bit softer. Then I got two of those glasses, which I thought were amazing. And I know I only got a pair of two for everything, but maybe I will have to go and buy another two so that I can host dinner for four. But like that, it's perfect for me and my boyfriend or me and a girlfriend, whatever. And here, those are the glasses. They are very, very thick and it's just kind of amazing looking. And then I got more. And I will quickly show you at the end how it looks at the dinner, at the dinner set, because it, it, it all matches. That's that's the that's why I bought it. It all matches. And I found this amazing cake sand, which was on sale for only 12 euros. So perfect, a little gold cake sand, which I can present my cakes, but I don't think I should only present my cakes on there. I think I can also present like some nice, maybe some nice little aperitivo things, like some nice snacks for, aper for an aperitivo. And yes, that's why I bought this cake stand, also because it was on sale. Then I bought two vases. The first one is this funny looking, funny looking vase. It was beautiful. I don't know, it's like the 70s. And yeah, I really like it. It's probably for my living room. So excited for this one. And then the other one. The other one is great as well. Look at it. This vase, I love it a lot. I really love it a lot. And yeah, those are all the things that I bought at H&M Home. And now I will probably go and store them. Hopefully I have some more space because my drawers and my, my just kitchen is full of, full of plates and all of those things. But yeah, you can never have enough because I like to change out things. So I will go and store them and then I will go and cook something for dinner because I'm very hungry and it's already like quarter past seven in the evening. But first, let me quickly show you how it looks as a dinner set because I'm very pleased with, my, with myself. <music> I'm fresh out of the hairdresser. Look at the color and the cut. 
my little my little bangs i actually really, really like it um like really really like it and the hairdresser was extremely nice so i'm very happy that i finally found a hairdresser that i like that does its job very very good it's very nice that i can talk to so very happy about my new fine new found newly found hairdresser that is close to me and yeah i i really like it so <laughs> what was i doing until then like i went to the city and made a little food shop because i'm doing a capri inspired or like an italian amalfi coast capri inspired dinner tonight only for me and my boyfriend but yeah and i'm cooking since he's not the biggest fan of like only pasta like without meat um i'm doing which is quite hard to do and he also, he's also not the biggest fan of fish so it's quite hard to do a capri inspired meal because most of them are pasta or fish but now i do first i do a melanzana in parmigiana like with the eggplant and the sorry i'm always if I, when i'm cutting my hair i'm always just fucking around with melanzani like eggplant and mozzarella and parmesan and tomato sauce i will show you that the moment the eggplant bites are in the oven so i will show you in a minute and then i will do scalopine al limone with probably a saffron risotto and then for dessert it's homemade ice cream obviously my ninja creamy but yeah that's what i am doing and i have to set the table a little bit more but yeah i will just show you how it will look how it will be and one more appreciation of the hair yeah so let me go and be a little bit faster because i'm actually a little bit behind schedule but it's not really not really that bad so yeah we'll see you very soon and of course i forgot to film how i cooked the food but this was the end result and it was really delicious hello guys so i've promised you a zara haul for a long time so here it is i'm finally filming it so two zara boxes and wait for it zara bag so like let's start like this is already the first item it's this gorgeous little flowy zara dress it's this nice embroidery here and actually there are shorts down there like you see there are shorts down there which i actually don't really like because if i have to go to the toilet i always have to take off my whole dress so sometimes i cut the middle part of those shorts away so it's not a jumpsuit anymore it's just normal dress so i can pee in peace so yeah but this is the first dress i really like it i will keep it for sure and now let's try on the second dress okay i really like this dress as well it's in kind of a neoprene material i don't like that it kind of bulges here but probably closes because i couldn't close the dress properly because I have no one here to help me right now because it's in the middle of the afternoon but i think if i put it zip it like to the top then here it wouldn't bulge so much because i don't know why it does that but yeah other than that this dress is actually beautiful it's really really pretty like i said neoprene material here then those buttons here kind of could go for a dior dress i'm not joking it really could it is very very nice like it's short it's short so you probably could not wear it as a work dress if you are in a conservative work environment but actually most of the places it probably would work as a work dress because yeah i mean it's not so short like they can't see my bum but yeah i like i said I definitely I will definitely keep 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 this as well because actually I was stalking this dress because they didn't have my size anymore for such a long time so I stalked it until an extra small came in and oh yes also 
like on those two dresses it's an extra small i don't know what i got in the other pieces because sometimes like i'm usually an extra small but sometimes if my size is not available anymore i'll just get another size and hope for the best or alter it if i really like it so yeah then let's try on the next thing i got those black linen shorts they could be promising yeah those for example i got an small because they did not have next small anymore so yeah let's try on the shorts so wait if this is not from zara this is from mango but also no but those are the shorts and i'm not sure like they kind of really are a little bit too long like when i look in the mirror next to me those shorts they really are long like they come in the middle of my leg like here is my knee you see that this is actually not the look that I'm going for when I'm wearing shorts. I really don't think I'm old enough to wear such long shorts. Not that old people should wear long shorts, but they usually do because, I don't know, they just do. And also if I scrap, cram it up, how do you say that? It also, it's also not perfect because, yeah. I have to check how much they are because then I could alter them to have them always taken up. No, no, I won't. I just buy the new, the new season ones, which are not, cr not crumbled up, like not, don't have a border here and have, which have the perfect length. So yeah, let's try the next thing. Oh, I will show you first. Next thing is this little number. I don't know if I can show you this because. I don't know what to wear underneath, but I will see. Okay, this dress, I just show you like that, but it's also, it's very long. It's too long for me and you definitely can only wear it as a bikini cover up because otherwise you see everything in there. So it's no. And last but not least are those linen pants. Let me go way back so you can see them. You see them? They are sadly too long for me to see huh? but I mean it could look good if I wore some like very high heels wait a moment let me just place you kind of the front so that we can have a full-on look you see that no still not <laughs> wait a moment just want you to see a full look on the long pants yeah yeah now you can I mean, they don't look bad. Like they would be nice, but wait, if I wear some high shoes, like some, just some, those are just some high shoes so that you see those are just some Gucci mules. They actually look nice with the color pop. But, oh, and it's not last but not least, I just saw my other bag. Okay, like that, then they would actually have the perfect height do you think? Do you think I should keep them? I mean, I already have some linen pants, but if you look at them more closely, they're kind of a nice linen material, like a shiny material. That's how you are from the back. Also nice. So, okay. I'm not sure about those, but yeah, let me let me show you the last item. But I'm I'm actually at the moment I'm sure about the white dress and the navy neoprene dress then the black shorts go back the knitted dress goes back those i'm not sure and i think this one i will probably keep it for sure because this is the sweater like the famous sara sweater the um usually the, the the original one is just white and navy striped and it's a softest sweater i own and i thought well why not buy it in this color too well probably not to get rid of those pants but maybe maybe i can like maybe like that but probably more with some other items but yeah those are all those are all things that i got let me know with the white pants if i should keep them or not and what do you think about the other things but i think i'm pretty sure like the black shorts and the knitted dress goes back for sure and the other two dresses are a keeper for sure so yeah i'm this one as well this one is a keeper i'm only unsure about the when linen 
linen i think it's not only a linen one i think it's a linen and silk blend which is also very nice it feels very nice but yeah i could also go and alter them because they do feel very very good so yeah indecisive but and also this one here you see i usually never get a spot and i got a spot and silly me to just put on retinol like all the time like it i reapplied the retinol about five times a day now i have myself a little burn but yeah that's 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 my bad sorry for the all-around vlog i just had a few bits that i have not shown you yet and that i thought i have to show you first before we are going to a regular vlogging schedule again but regarding the zara pieces i actually wanted to return the linen linen pants the black shorts and the crochet dress but when I returned it, she told me that my return period was over. And I always thought that, like normally, how it works with usually every other store, that 30 days after you receive your package, the return period stops. But no, no, in Zara it's 30 days after you order the stuff. And in my case, it took almost two weeks until my full order arrived. But well, yeah, they did not take it back, so I had to keep it but actually like the black shorts I already wore them a few times so they were not really bad purchase and the other things they were they were on sale it was not too much money luckily but yeah that's it and I hope I will see you in my next vlog bye bye